Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Check here, Dell Precision 5510. So what do you think about this laptop? It is a nice laptop. Now, just to understand, I don't take jobs just to charge the diagnosis fee. Yeah, I do have a 25 pounds diagnosis fee and a case cannot be repaired. So this customer uh, let me know the fault occurred after he swapped the M2 SSD from another laptop to this laptop and it's no longer uh, powering up. And after that, uh, I told him, you know, sure, I can have a look, but unfortunately, most likely I won't be able to fix it. The M2 drive is connected to the Intel chipset. If it's not coming on anymore, probably the chipset is faulty and can, uh, can't be replaced. Sorry and regards. And the customer insists to have a look. Now, I try to make it right, but if the customer insists to have a look, we can have a look to this laptop. Just uh, to make you understand, just charging a diagnosis fee and making money by charging diagnosis fee doesn't make me happy. Okay, so the laptop is open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. I remember this motherboard. This kind of model of the motherboard. We have the chipset here. Here we have like a bunch of MOSFETs because we have a power supply which is creating the main power rail. Uh, let's open this. Yeah. Okay, let me unplug the battery and let's do some measurements, especially on the coil measurements on the chipset. So the customer swapped the M2 drive. The M2 drive is connected straight to the chipset. So, uh, Anything going wrong, the chipset it will die. Now let's see what do we have here. So on the chipset is zero because it's ground, and here we have 53 ohms. Lol. 53 ohms. Yeah, about 50 and something ohms, and this looks like a good chipset. But just because it's no shorter, that doesn't mean it's good. Anyway, let's check the coils. This one is, yeah, this one is the, the chipset uh, power supply. Let's see what do we have here. Here we have 100 ohms, probably the RAM power supply. Here nothing. Here nothing. 170 ohms. This is the GPU probably. And this is the CPU and everything looks fine. Wait, here we have more coils. So here we have 23 ohms, that's fine. 10 ohms, 10 ohms, 52 ohms. You know, everything is looking fine. Here we have one more coil. Okay, that's fine. And the main power rail is here, right? And the main power rail is not shorted. No, the main power is not shorted. Okay, that sucks. I was expecting a shorted uh, chipset. Okay, anyway, let's plug a charger. And let's see what he's doing. We have round pin uh, Dell. Dell, Dell. What is Dell? Yeah, this one, this one. We have 19 volts on the power supply. Plug in the charger and it's doing nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's plug the battery. Still, it's not doing anything, no power at all. Pressing the power button, nah, no current movement, nothing. Okay, let's check the main power rail. Probably it's not present, but let's check. So the main power rail is LOL 13.6, it is present. 
but it's present from the battery. Yeah, the main power rail is present from the battery. The battery is supposed to have the battery is supposed to have twelve point eight. Wait. One second, let me plug the battery again. Ten point seven. So now it's ten point seven. And if I plug the charger, basically it's taking no current. And I have thirteen point six. It's not making sense, it's taking no current at all. Battery voltage, 10.8. Yeah, the, yeah, the coil is boosting the, the voltage. But how? This is back and boost power supply because Usually the battery is connected to the main power rail. But then, let's say if the main power rail is present, why the laptop is not coming on? Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Pressing a power button, no, the voltage is not getting dropped. Yeah, that's why I hate uh, repairing <coughs> cost faults. Yeah, this is a cost fault. This is it's not occurring naturally, yeah, like any other fault. Because usually, you know, the faults uh, they occur on high pressure components. And yeah, this fault is not making sense at all. Okay, you know what? Let's take the motherboard out just to have a look. I mean, it's worth having a look because the chipset it is looking good. It's not charging the battery. It is possible to have like a dead uh, EC chip. Yeah, it is possible. The EC chip can be replaced. Probably not. Probably it's a MEC, MAC uh, EC chip and it cannot replace the EC chip. But let's have a look just to be sure. Okay, so the motherboard, it's out. Can't see anything special here. Let me unplug the fans. Let me try to take out the BIOS battery. Maybe it's a BIOS issue. Probably, I'm not sure if someone took out this uh, BIOS battery. We have the power button on the motherboard, that's fine. We can check the voltage there. That would be nice. Good. Let's take the laptop down. Now, one more time, plug in the battery, plug in the charger, but we cannot plug the charger. But anyway, the bat no, the battery is not charged, but it should be fine. Pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. Check here, the board is coming on. It was not coming on before. The chipset is getting warm. That's crazy. Do you think the, the issue was BIOS related? Uh, yeah, it's switching off and switching on. Yeah, yeah, it's warm. It's warm. <laughs> okay, then let's put the motherboard back.
No way. This was a BIOS, a frozen BIOS, because the customer swapped the SSD. I mean, you have no voltage on the SSD if the laptop is off. But if the laptop is on standby or uh, sleep, uh, there will be voltage on the SSD. Good. Let's plug the battery just for testing. Plug in the charger. Oh, 10 milliamps. Obviously, it will not charge because the charger ID thingy. Uh, my one is a fake charger. Pressing the power button. The laptop is taking current. That's crazy. Switch off. One point two amps. Wait, I don't have enough current. Yeah, I do have. The laptop is switching off. Looping. Or because we reset the bias, but the current is changing. Check that, and it's working. We have picture. That's crazy. I can't believe I said no to this job. <laughs> what a lucky customer. I can't believe. Lord. That's insane. I was, you know, I was pretty sure uh, the chipset is dead. I mean, you know, you swap the SSD and the laptop is dying, no coming on. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let me put it all back together. <laughs> I don't think I, I seen before something like that. I shall not say no to the jobs. Yeah, but then, you know, then people can accuse me. Ah, if you know you can't fix it, why you took the job? You know, things like that. And I try to avoid, uh, you know, this kind of conversation. But yeah, this is a lucky one. I mean, I mean, this is insane. You know, this customer is insanely lucky. You know what? I'm assuming the laptop it was on um, sleep with the battery connected, and probably in that the moment the customer swapped the SSD and BIOS got corrupted because that's what we had here, the corrupted BIOS. But I'm amazed. I mean, the BIOS was proper corrupted. Not only the laptop was not coming on, but was taking no power from the charging port. You remember? <laughs> but, you know, it's something to learn from this. And uh, I will have in mind this because I said no to a lot of jobs, like, like this one. Like, okay, I swapped the SSD and the laptop died. And it looks like the bars can get uh, corrupted. You know what is pissing me off? The EC chip has a watchdog in case the, the, the EC chip is freezing. But it looks like it's not doing the job. I mean, probably even the watchdog is it's frozen. Okay, everything is back on place. Plug in the charger. Yeah, we do have the light here, pressing the power button. And the laptop is start taking current. And it is coming on. Good, let's power off. And let's test with the SSD. Like how I said, when the laptop is off, there is no uh, power on the M2 drive slot. So plug in the SSD. Pressing the power button. Just to be sure the M2 slot is good. And we have picture. Yeah, the, the adapter is not okay, I know that. Yeah, it is loading the windows. So the M2 slot is good. Yeah, and the Windows is on. 
Perfect, so it's working fine. I'm gonna shut down the laptop. Perfect, the laptop is off. We can unplug the SSD, all good. What a lucky customer. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I will say, you know, if you have this problem, you know, it's worth uh, trying to reset the BIOS. If you don't see a BIOS battery here and it's a Dell laptop, the BIOS battery can be on the other side. Why they will put the BIOS battery on the other side? Doesn't make sense. I mean, you just leave the battery, BIOS battery here so the user can reset the BIOS. Or, you know, put a button from the other side from the back cover so the user can reset the BIOS. But yeah, it's Dell. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, obviously. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.